All right, everyone, how are we doing? Uh, if you saw Ariel Hawani's MMA hour yesterday, or if you look at the news, then you would have saw that Hamzat Chimiev and Alex Pereira are kind of going back and forth. Listen, ever since Pereira became the middleweight champion, when he stopped Izzy in the fifth round, in a fight that he was losing, in a fight that actually exposed his lack of takedown defence, um... Jimmy has kind of come out of the woodwork and said he wants to fight him. He'll beat him. He'll ragdoll him. He'll smash his brother all over the place. You know, like he says. Uh, and yesterday, Pereira said on uh, the MMA hour, he said, look, listen, I spoke to the UFC about this fight. He said, I tried to make 185. I'm way off from that. I'm a huge middleweight. But I'll fight Hamza if he wants on pay-per-view in Rio in January at £205. And of course, Hamza came out of the woodwork. According to him, he spoke to the UFC. He said, this is a fake fight. Fake belt, fake fight. And what did he say? He said, I, I asked him about this fight in Brazil. Fake belt, fake coach, fake fighter. There's the exact quote from the Wolf Boers. Um, and it probably is. I don't know who's telling the truth. Someone's lying. Someone's lying here somewhere. But if the fight was to happen, I would have Hamza winning that all day long. Listen, Arasanya exposed the takedown defense uh, inability of Pereira. Listen, Izzy is a tremendous kickboxer, probably the best striker in the UFC, and he's got amazing takedown defense. But taking people down isn't his strong point. He was able to do that to Pereira. He was able to control him. If he can do that, guys like Hamza, Robert Whittaker, and other wrestling powerhouses would be able to do the same. So they're licking their chops thinking, I want to get at that guy. So Hamza talked a bit of shit. Of course, Pereira, being the proud man that he is, he's got to respond. And he said, I'll fight him at 205. Well, that fight's never going to happen okay Pereira's the 185 pound champ if he was to fight him at 205 the belt wouldn't be on the line although it's actually not a bad idea for Pereira to do that why because he would lose and in losing he would learn a lot of valuable lessons okay it's the fights that you lose it's the oldest cliche in the book the fights you win they're great they build your confidence they build your star they make you money they potentially get you to learn bad habits because you get away with things. But in the fights you lose, you've got to really address it. And to go out there against Hamzat Chimeyev, the way that he ragdolls people. Remember what he did to Lee Jingliang. Picked him up in the air, had a conversation with Dana White and then tapped him out. Look at what he just did to Kevin Holland. He was in action this weekend in the main event against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson in Orlando, Florida, albeit that one. Again, ragdolled him. That's what he does. So I'm not being offensive to Alex Pereira. Chimeyev would probably do that. But it would teach him a lot of valuable lessons. He would go out there. He would feel what it's like to be with a wrestler of that capability. You know, it is shocking. And it does set some alarm bells ringing. And you're like, shit, I have got some serious work to do. So for Pereira, he would lose that fight. In my humble opinion, no offense to the champ. I'm a big fan. I love his work. I love the power. I love his kickboxing. But the takedown defense could do with a little bit of work. So that might not be a bad fight for him. For Chimeyev, again, it would be a good fight because he could go out there, show the world he can beat the middleweight champion at 205, and people would think he was an even bigger badass. But other than that, this fight isn't going to happen anyway because neither man fights at 205. Hamza's trying to fight at 170. He's trying to get a fight against Colby Covington. Granted, he could just walk and uh, uh, step on the scale at 180, 190, whatever the fuck he walks around that and probably take him on because he's an absolute madman. But there it is. A little bit of back and forth here. A little bit of he said, she said. He said, she said. Something like that. Uh, and a little bit of uh, high schooly gossip. You know, there it is. But there's not much going on in the world of MMA other than a massive fight card this weekend as I said I'm leaving to Orlando Florida I'll be there calling that one this weekend Stephen Thompson taking on uh, Kevin Holland as I mentioned and a great undercard an absolutely fantastic undercard I've got Ty to Avarsa taking on um uh, Sergei Pavlovich that is going to be an epic fight somebody will get knocked out probably in the first round as well so definitely tune in for that one this weekend but still what do you think do you, who do you think is lying here do you think Hamzat's lying is Pereira lying will the fight even happen let me know down there in the comments hope you well take care subscribe ring the bell I'll see you in a bit